I'm Miley Oye. I'm a member of Google's Webmaster Support Team. You may be watching this video because you recently learned that your site has been hacked, also known as being compromised. It's likely that you received a hack notice in search results, notification in your browser, a message from a search engine, or an email from a friend. Whether you run a large multinational business site, a government site, or your personal blog, having your site compromised is one of the hardest predicaments we, as site owners, will ever face. The good news is that recovery is certainly possible. In fact, a nonprofit organization called Stop Badware reports that their tools and information have helped over 130,000 websites become deblacklisted, with the malware warning removed in the last three years. In tandem with groups like Stop Badware, my webmaster support team and I hope to help you recover your hack site. There are two primary approaches to recovery. Doing it yourself if you're tech savvy, or finding trusted experts if you feel the technical tasks are outside your scope. If you're not sure which approach to take, the next step in our Help for Hack sites can help you determine which route is most appropriate. It may not be easy, but once you, either by yourself or with the aid of your support team, can identify the vulnerability, fix the problem, and complete the review process, your site may return online even more robust. Now that we all understand that recovery is possible, let's back up for a moment and talk about what it means for a site to be hacked. Let's journey into the past and imagine your site happily providing good content or a great service to users. Unfortunately, while the site seems perfectly healthy, in reality, it has a vulnerability. A hacker then creates a software program that can exploit this vulnerability on many sites throughout the web. Your site may be only one of the thousands affected. Like an infection that can enter through a small wound and then spread to your entire body, once a hacker has found a way into a site by exploiting a vulnerability, you must assume they can now perform any action on the site, like adding spammy text or even malicious software. Some of the more common ways that a hacker can invade a website include exploiting out-of-date or insecure software, stealing login credentials, or installing malicious software called malware on your personal computer that then steals login credentials when you access your website. Being hacked means that by using a technique such as those just mentioned, someone you never authorized, a cyber criminal, has compromised your site. Why would someone want to do this? For many cyber criminals, the motivation is financial. Two common financial strategies involve hacking a site to add spammy content and hacking a site to distribute malware. Let's discuss them both, starting with the spam strategy. Let's say you have a great site about boating, and you install on your site a fun plugin or add-on software that you think visitors might like. Meanwhile, a far less scrupulous site owner, the hacker, is out to make money in any way possible from her pharmaceutical e-commerce website that sells prescription drugs. Rather than work hard to build a legitimate business that customers appreciate, thereby bringing positive reviews and merited links, this site owner chooses another path, hacking into innocent sites and adding links and text herself. To do this, the hacker learns about a specific vulnerability found in a website plugin. Unfortunately, this is the same plugin installed on your site. She then writes a program to scan the web, looking for unsuspecting sites that installed this vulnerable plugin. Once her program comes across your site, it becomes the next target. Her software breaks into your site and adds spammy text and links to her pharmaceutical website. Because the hacker needs the good reputation of your site to make the scam effective, often great care is taken so the crime goes unnoticed. The spammy links and text might be hidden. Your site may function normally. The site owner may be completely unaware they've been victimized. However, when a search engine like Google visits your site, just as we visit many sites on the public web to process the site's content for search results, our algorithms may notice that something is awry. For example, a reputable site that has many pages about boating, but then links to a spammy pharmaceutical site, looks like trouble. Alternatively, and even worse than adding spammy content, the hacker may have added code to distribute malware. Malware is malicious software, like a software virus or worm. 
Being hacked with malware can be especially harmful because not only is your site affected, but the malware code enables the cybercriminal to use your site as a host for also infecting your visitors' computers. Once her malware is installed on various users' computers, cybercriminals, again motivated by money, can perform rogue actions like stealing login credentials for online banking or financial transactions. Because being hacked, either with malware or with spammy content, can be dangerous to users, at Google, we use a variety of automated tools to detect the common signs of hacked sites as quickly as possible. It's extremely unlikely that your site was a false positive. When we detect something suspicious, we'll add a notification to our search results to alert you as well as protect searchers. We'll also do our best to contact you via your Google Webmaster Tools account. In addition, we'll often send emails to relevant addresses that might reach the right contact regardless of whether they have a Webmaster Tools account. While we try to contact site owners as quickly as possible, it's still tough to hear the diagnosis that your site has been hacked. The positive news is that with this knowledge, you can take steps toward treatment, both for your site and the safety of your visitors. And once the problem is fixed and the review process completed, the warning label will be removed from search results. Your visitors can safely view all of your great content once again. How long does the recovery process take? The amount of time depends on the technical expertise of the site's recovery team, as well as the size of the site and the extent of the damage. Once a site is cleaned of hacked content, which is by far the most difficult part, the review process to remove user-facing warnings requires at most a day or so for malware and phishing, and possibly several weeks for spam. Spam reviews often require more time because they can involve manual investigation or a complete reprocess of the hacked pages. This video, Overview of a Hacked Site, completes the first step of a multi-step recovery process. Next is to determine the best approach to remedy your site, whether that's using your own technical skills or garnering help from specialists. We'll discuss these options in our next step in Help for Hacked Sites. See you there.